brothers and sisters, I just like, want again want to talk more about Halloween, and this video is going to be about harvest parties. Basically, um, these little parties that these buildings called churches will put together for the children. Um, basically, they're saying that we can celebrate Halloween without celebrating Halloween. You know, it's like what? <laughs> it's uh, just more of this double speak that these uh, professing Christians, these wicked apostates, will speak. Um, you know, like, I believe God's word is perfect, but uh, it can always be improved, and there's no perfect translation, you know? <laughs> you don't believe nothing. Those people, they don't believe nothing, okay? <laughs> um, you know, that's what you'll get out of, out of these buildings called churches, is a bunch of double speak, um, you know, talking out of both sides of their mouths, um, uh, compromise, and... You know, whatever. Anyways, so, uh, and, and these people, they can misguide uh, brothers and sisters who have truly been born again. Um, you know, I myself, last year, I've been saved for about over a year now, and I partook in these wicked holidays. You know, Halloween and Christmas, and, um, you know, I was convicted about them, but I was new in the faith, and... Uh, you know, I, I was kind of unsure, so I'm hoping that these videos that I'm making, if there are people watching this who are kind of like in between of, well, is it okay to celebrate this, and okay to do this, but not okay to do that, or whatever, I hope that, you know, you'll come to God, you'll pray about it, and He'll show you the truth, and you'll do research on the history of Halloween, and I just pray that you will not partake in this, um, but you'll just, you'll do your duties as a Christian to evangelize, to pray, on this day. Um, but anyways, what's a harvest party? It's a celebration, it's chaperoned usually, may have costumes, games are played, some churches, or buildings called churches, even imitate the occult by having the children bob for apples, which is love to promote the bobbing for apples game in churches because they regard apples as sacred. By the way, what do you think uh, harvest in relation to Halloween means to witches and Satanists? It means the harvest of souls. No wonder Satan's followers come up with the idea for Christians to have harvest parties on October 31st or thereabouts. Contests are held. Food abounds. Churches often have children participate in trunk or treat, which is a form of the Halloween trick-or-treat ritual. Music blares. Everyone enjoys themselves. Uh, certainly nothing to get concerned about, right? The problem, however, lies in the billing. The harvest party is usually referred to as the Christian alternative to traditional Halloween hijinks. Hijinks means practical joke. Alternative, however, implies substitute. It assumes our children need something to take the place of Halloween since they won't be participating in the secular and pagan celebrations. It suggests our children are missing out on something. And indeed they are, if we allow them to spend Halloween in celebration. Christian parents must teach their children to not give place to the devil every day, of course, but especially during Halloween, when there is more demonic activity upon the earth than any other time of the year. That is why God's people must pray more than any other time of the year. If we are to train our children to be soldiers in the army of Christ, why should we sign a pass for them to go on leave when the battle is escalating on the front lines? That's a very good point. And... The person who wrote this goes on to talk about how he was a child and he went to one of these harvest parties and they had an Ouija board there. And uh, and that got him interested in the occult and all that. And he got saved later in his 20s. Um, so anyways, um, continuing, there are too many casualties on Halloween and far too many troops fighting the enemy. Instead of partying on Halloween, teach your children how to fight. Keep them aware that the fight isn't against occultists, non-Christians, Christians who feel differently than we about Halloween, or institutions that promote Halloween, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, Ephesians 6.12. How do we teach our children to wrestle spiritual, spiritually? Discourage them from participating in traditional Halloween activities, 2 Timothy 2.4. Then tell them why. The word discourage is too soft. Christian parents must forbid their children to take part in Halloween in any fashion. God forbids his people to touch the unclean thing. If you party instead of pray on Halloween, you are copying Satan's followers. This is their special day. Encourage them to pray on a regular daily basis. Ephesians 6.18 Let them know firsthand the power that we have in prayer. 
All Christians should know how to fight on their knees, pray with your children, teach them how to exercise biblical authority over the power of the enemy. Christians cannot do this if they are giving place to the devil in their lives. This is why false Christian ministries want them to compromise in their Christian walk, including encouraging them to celebrate Halloween with gusto. Remind them to be alert and self-controlled, 1 Corinthians 16.13 and 1 Thessalonians 5.6. Give them the discipline of knowing it is their responsibility to keep watch. They themselves might also become casualties of war. When children are too young to be alerted and self-controlled, parents must be alert for them and actively teach them self-control. Parents are to watch over their children's souls. Make certain they are prepared for battle, Ephesians 6.11. Do they know the truth? Stand on the word of God? Have faith? Know the gospel? Are they righteous? Are they saved? So, those are some good tips, if you have children, what you should be doing. And, uh, this Christian should not be partaking in Halloween, um, as, as they do, no. So, that's that, and there will be more videos on Halloween, so thanks for watching, God bless. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.